Scotland Diamonds and to non-league football, well, it, it's just breathtaking, really, isn't it? One day, this team will be a, will be a league side. I've absolutely no doubts about that. Hello, guys, and welcome to another episode of the Lower League Management Journey with me, John, a.k.a. Old Man Suda, and we're back again with AFC Rushton and Diamonds. And obviously, if you've been watching the series, you know things have been going absolutely fantastic for us. We've got the FA Cup again today, a fourth round qualifier, which means we'll go into the first round proper, which means we could get a league side, which means I think it'll be League 1 or 2 at the moment. But that's still huge. That's still four or five uh, levels above us, isn't it? So, you know, we've got the conference, south, north, you've got the conference, and you've got so it's four, up to four leagues above us. That's just amazing, huge, especially if we were to get like a League One side. and um, Or if we were to get, say, like a Peterborough, or someone who's a bit of a derby for us, because uh, Peterborough is like sort of 45 minutes sort of north, northeast. Northampton's sort of 45 minutes east of Rushton. So any of those sort of teams would be amazing. Milton King, MK Dons would be another one that would be huge because that's about 45 minutes sort of southish of um, Rushton. So, you know, or Luton as well, any of those sort of teams, again, sort of 45 minutes that sort of right direction or sort of southeast, uh, any of those sort of teams would be huge for us. So, if we can get through today against, um, who is it, Wood for something, we can. But I'll quickly show you, we've had one game since the last episode, which was the Telford one, which if you haven't seen, go and watch. It's both of these two games. As you can see, it was an absolutely fantastic um, game against us. Telford, two leagues above us, I believe. They're in the Vanarama, no, one league above us. So, really tough game. But we actually managed to win it in the uh, player or the second um, match, basically. Yeah, the sort of replay. We managed to get through to penalties and we won it on penalties. It was a cracking game. I needed a drink after it. I'm sure you guys were watching it. Um, but yeah, we played Beakersfield, and as you can see, we drew three all. It, I put it down some of it down to tired legs, even though we probably were a bit more fitter than Beakersfield overall. But as you can see, they went two 0 up. We came back. We actually went three two up, and then we they scored literally in the last kick of the game. Absolutely crazy. And you look at the stats, you wonder how we lost it. I'm putting it down to tired legs, but it is a bit of a worrying trend that we're getting a lot of sort of three twos, two ones, two ones. And we do need to look at that. And I'm wondering if it's because of our defence or if it's more to do with the fact that, say, like our strikers are not getting the balls. Because you look at our squad and we are, we're not bad, but I feel like our midfield could be a little bit better, especially out on the wings. Hoban is only two and a half. So is Colson. They're our best sort of mid midfielders at the moment or, or wide midfielders. So I'm wondering if that could improve. Maybe as well for a striker, we could do with a little bit better. Um, obviously Sedgwick plays a lot better sort of in that role there if I'm right um, and he's like a three and a half star but he's been playing fantastic for us he's had seven goals this season Taylor's with six Sharif with 11 um, we're not scoring as well as we did last season tougher league but overall we're not doing too bad um, yeah but that three all doesn't help us we're down to fourth but as you can see we do have a game in hand because we've had the FA Cup games so if we win that we could still go at least a point ahead of Meritivith. Um So we're still sort of up there, thereabouts, and we've still got a nice little gap down to sort of out of the playoffs and that sort of stuff. So everything's going really well for us. But we're only 14 games into the season, so there's still a long way to go. Um, and to be honest, the whole this one was just about getting ourselves steady in the league. So if we do get promotion, it's an absolutely fantastic achievement. But I wasn't expecting it, so... I, I do expect us to maybe drop off a little bit, but we won't. We'll obviously keep on trying and do our best to absolutely um, get as far as possible. We obviously have got Woodbridge today. Should be a reasonably easy game, though. East Counties League means that they're about two leagues below us, I believe. Um, so we should be a lot better than them, and we should win this game. And I think, sort of, really, that's the thing. Is Obviously, the big thing about this game, though, is the finances. Because... We're on 166. After the Telford games, we've had about a 30, k, 30 grand injection into the club with winning the, sort of the money we won, the prize money, and ticket sales and that sort of stuff, and just the exposure. Obviously, getting through to the next round will be another maybe 10k, I would imagine the prize fund will be. And then, again, so you could imagine we'll be shooting up to maybe 180, 185k. And then, obviously, if we can get a, a decent run in the 
FA Cup or something like that. It, it's it's so important the finances. I, I keep I've said it a couple of times on other episodes, and I really can't stress enough. These finances are so important because as we move up the leagues, we need to improve the ground, we need to improve the stadium, we need to buy better players, and if you don't do the finances at the beginning, it doesn't work. So this is really, really sort of good for us. This is amazing. And sort of keeping this this balance going upwards, this upward trend, helps so much. I cannot sp- stress enough how much it helps us, really. I cannot. Um, but overall, the board are really happy with us, as you can see. I've still been looking for senior affiliates. It's not working at the moment. I'm hoping if we can get into the Vanarama then we can start looking at some affiliates. Um, it's maybe just not working because we're in the league we're in at the moment. Um, yeah, what else is there to say? Dynamics are really good as well. And I think that's about it. But before I should get through to the game or anything like that, and I don't know why I just clicked on that, but obviously I am scouting players still. Um, I want to just say a big thank you. I'm on, I hit 110 subscribers. That is amazing. Five months into starting YouTube, 110 is beyond my wildest dreams so a massive thank you to every single person who watches this episode who subs to me who likes who anything you know any sort of interaction you've had with me it's it's absolutely amazing i would not have expected it so thank you very much um you have no idea what it means to have your support um obviously hoping six months coming up I'm looking to hit 120. It'd be amazing to hit that sort of figure. Obviously, anything higher than that is even better. Um, but yeah, six. I feel. I just feel it's been going really well. And again, I want to say a big thank you to everyone and to everyone I have spoke to and met and some of the friends I've made out of this over the last few months. It's been absolutely fantastic. It means the absolute world to me. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I don't think there's anything else really to talk about at the moment. Um, squad wise everyone's fit apart from Dan Pearson who's got about a week or so left I believe uh, yeah seven days to two weeks so he'll be back soon but apart from that overall I feel we're doing really well probably could do a little bit more strength overall I feel um, we are a little bit especially depth wise we're a bit low and probably could do one or two more players um, to just help with the first team which we should be able to do because I believe we do have like about five hundred pound in the wage budget. We're spending currently three six, committed spending three three, but the wage budget is three nine. So we've got maybe three four hundred quid we could possibly sort of play around with in the wage budget. So we could definitely bring in maybe one or two more players, which we'll have a look at. Um, but obviously, again, it's again it's about balancing the finances as well. So we'll see how we get on. Um, and I think that's pretty much it guys so we'll get straight into the game now because I don't want to sort of bore you too much and you want to see how we're getting on don't you and this is going to be the team we're going to go with and it's pretty much going to be our we'll just change these uh, yeah we'll change these this game we're going to go team we're going to go with and it's pretty much our strongest side because I really want to make sure we get through this we're actually going to take Taylor off we're going to bring Sheriff back on there uh, he's not going to play as a poacher he's going to play as an advanced forward you're going to play as a support uh, and everyone looks happy good so as you can see this is what I'm talking about with the wingers and that Colson's our best right midfielder and he's on two stars Holborn's two and a half stars as our left he was fan- these guys were fantastic last season but unfortunately they maybe aren't doing as well this season same with Baisley and O'Brien um, so we just probably need to strengthen up a bit it's weird actually I feel like some of these players have dropped over the last um, since we started this season which is a bit of a shame um, and I feel they could be better but we'll see hopefully the things will get a little bit better for us on that sort of front it might have been to do with an update or something I don't know but we'll get straight into the game shall we and it's Thomas in goal it's going to be Basie Warren Ward and O'Brien our probably strongest back for Hoban K Harmes and Colson probably our strongest midfield at the moment and Cedric and Sharif who are probably our strongest up front um, so it's pretty much our strongest side overall that we can probably put out. Maybe Dan Pierce going in would be a little bit stronger. Uh, I'm going to make one or two changes. Quick, I'm going to be Bren Ford on there, and Ross Outland's going to come on for Troke because uh, they're better subs to have. I, I feel. Uh, but overall, we should do all right here, and there's no reason we shouldn't win this game. Like I said, they're a bit of a weaker side against us uh, for us to go against. So there's no reason we shouldn't get through to the FA Cup proper. We'll go to the instructions quickly and we'll apply advice. We'll quickly do some here as well. 
we'll just put these onto weaker foot we'll we'll tight mark the striker and we will close down the midfield as well and we'll leave it at that but we'll do the team talk what can we say we've been on a good run lately it's gone pretty well we'll quickly give them the passionate talk just to keep momentum and everything morale as high as possible because it means a lot i feel keeping that as high as possible it's gone pretty well and we'll get straight into the game um and hopefully we will win this quite comfortably get a decent big side make a lot of money and there we go set it with a shot and he just puts it wide um yeah that would be fantastic and we can concentrate a bit more on the league we've also got the fa trophy still to go into which is another good money making sort of cup we can have a nice little run in that as well that would mean be brilliant uh we've got the seven cup which doesn't really make much money but we are the defending champions so i'm not that worried about it but we'll see how we get on on that one as long as we can maybe do okay as sheriff comes forward and he uses his pace he puts a cross into cedric cedric with a nice little tap in one nil to us 12 minutes gone get in there Cedric's been fantastic for us the last few games. He's been absolutely brilliant. Sharif last year was brilliant, but Cedric has been absolutely fantastic for us this season so far. Um, by far probably our best player, I would say, this season. Uh, maybe doesn't score all the goals, but he does set them up a lot of the time. Uh, but yeah, we're doing all right. We're playing pretty well at the moment. 20 minutes gone. We've got a K there with a free kick, and he gets it into Warren, who easy little volley in, really, wasn't it, for him? But that's 2-0. And it looks like we are getting through to the FA proper at the moment. Uh, yeah, Kay puts it in and then it's a nice little easy. And Colson falls on the floor and Warren just boots it in. So 2-0 up. We've got another one. What we've got here? Throw in to O'Brien from O'Brien to Cedric. He gives it to Colson. Colson to Cedric. Cedric puts crossing. Can't find anyone though. Hoving then collects it. And is he going to get a crossing? He does to Colson who gives it to Sheriff. And Sheriff heads it in. 3-0. Get in there, my son. And it's all going pretty well at the moment. I mean, Cedric puts it in there and Harrison can't clear it so Hoban gets the ball he crosses it in to Colson. Colson then with volley it into Sheriff and Sheriff just puts it in the net and we're just outplaying them at the moment it's absolutely fantastic can we keep this on the problem we've had is we've been dropping off in the second half which we really don't want to do Sheriff now with the ball he puts it into Harmes Harmes with a shot and it was a bit wide but we'll let him off things are looking really well we've got to watch out for this complacency though 35 minutes gone and we just get ahead of there but Scoops has got the ball he pumps it up forward but it should be Baisley's and he gives it to Thomas who boots it out Thomas then finds Cedric Cedric with the ball can he knock it out wide to Colson he can Colson now boots it in and he tries to find Sheriff it looked like but Hoban gets it in and now Cedric but he can't find it K with the ball K bombs forward he tries to find Cedric again Cedric with the goal get in there 4-0 bit of a luck that it came straight fell to him but it's a goal we'll take it 4-0 get in there you beauty um i mean they header it out well k comes in he bombs four there tries to get across in and just hits number four i'm not sure who that was and it falls to cedric and he gets the goal 10 shots on six we're doing really really well at the moment 42 minutes gone coming in half time it looks like we're going to come in four nil up which we couldn't have asked for much more than that really could we half time 4 nil up absolutely brilliant get in there my son um what can we say apart from i'm really happy to keep it going hand it over to the assistant and we'll there um yeah let's just hope we don't fall off in the second half which is what haven't we have done in the past uh, and especially well against sort of the teams we've been playing this sort of season but i guess they've been stronger opposition as ward boots it out and he finds cedric cedric to sheriff sheriff's got a lot of room or well, not a lot of room even i should say and gets tackled straight away uh 15 minutes in and they've got a corner we maybe need to make some changes as they try to pull it in but thomas collects the ball and as soon as the highlight finishes we're going to look at some changes i think in fact i'm going to cancel that and do it at pause there and do it this way because I want to just see what we can do that's going to be a bit better for us. Um, everyone's looking pretty good. Is anyone playing bad? Not really at the moment. Um, maybe we don't do any changes then for the time being. Let's have a look at the tactics quickly. Have they brought any new striker on or anything like that? They've brought Stenner on so we'll quickly just mark him out of the game as best we can because we don't want them getting bored. And I'll give it another 10 minutes and then we'll make a change. 
but 11 shots, 6 on target, 4 fouls, 1 yellow card, possession's been 50-50, and overall we've just been playing so well, but McNabb's got a throw in now, he gives it to Peak, and they find Buckley, Buckley with the ball, gives it to Churchyard, who knocks it out to Harrison, Harrison though gives it back to Churchyard, scopes to Buckley, to Stenner, Stenner with a shot and he just puts it over and I just said that they've brought him on and we need to mark him a bit more carefully. We're still looking pretty fit. O'Brien maybe could do with coming off though. So we'll bring O'Brien off. Walker can come on for him. Um, Cedric's looking a little bit tired but he's playing so blooming well. What can we Do we take him off? I'll tell you what, we'll give him another sort of 10 minutes and we'll make some more changes and see how that gets on. We're sort of... So 80 minutes gone, we're still 4-0 up. It's been a bit of a quieter second half at the moment. Um, we're going to make some changes. We're going to bring Sedgwick off. We'll bring Taylor on for him. Um, and Warren's looking tired. Can we bring anyone on for Warren? Not really. Um, what can we do? Do you know what? We'll bring... We'll, actually, no, we won't. We'll bring Outland on instead. We'll bring Outland on for Hoban. Played really well. Give him a little bit of a rest. And just finish the game off and yeah it's come to a win for us really what can we say it's just fantastic though because the amount of money we're going to get from this will be brilliant i mean you know if we get 10k that's three months wages that's huge um as outland gets the ball put himself forward and that's it it is end of this game we do win four now we're through to the first round proper of the fa cup which is huge for us and means the world and i am excited about that um Hand it over to the assistant. Everything's looking good. Everyone's looking really happy. So nothing to complain about. We'll bring you the draw. It is in a day's time. So you can see who we get. As I said, if we can get one of the league sides, money-wise, that means so much for us. That is the big thing. Obviously, if you can get through to the third round, which would be a big, big ask for us, then getting a premiership side would just be huge. It would be amazing. Or even a championship side, to be honest. Um, especially if you get one of the big championship sides, that's that could be again another massive thing. But overall, I'm really really happy with what's happened. And unfortunately, it still takes so long because we've got so many players and teams and everything to, to work through. And my computer's not a bad computer. It's um, so annoying at times. Um, but while we're waiting for that to come on again, I'll just just as I said before the game. Thank you again for all the support, guys. Drop a like, come and subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me. Um, come and say hello to me on Twitter as well. I'll do all my sort of outro bits now while we're quickly waiting for this to lo load. Um, but yeah, it, come and say hello on Twitter. Come and subscribe. Come and comment as well. Just interact. It'd be lovely to hear from you guys. Lovely to hear what you think of the episode and how you feel we're doing. As we get on here, uh, gold club for us. FA Cup we get 12.5k. Oh my god, that's amazing! That is just huge. What's that done to the finances? Oh, 192k. That's huge. That is, I, I really don't know how how to describe how big that is. 190k. We've gone up almost 30k. That is huge. We're going to be looking at 200k maybe. That is major. Oh, that is massive. Uh, we'll quickly pray, Cedric. You were superb in front of goal. He looks happy about that. And let's get through and see if we get in the next round, shall we? Because if I can show you we get in the next round, obviously league games have happened. We might end up dropping down, but we've probably got two games in hand now. We'll have a look at that in a second as well. As FA Cup first round draw is there, we'll see how we get on. I'm also going to make sure there's a bigger gap between the games. Um, I feel I'm worried that we're not getting through the season very quick. So... We'll see, Harmes reaches yellow card limit will be banned from all domestic competitions for one game. Uh, unbeatable AF have set a new record, 12 games unbeaten, fantastic. We played really well, room for improvement was Dan Thomas on 7, but Dan didn't have much to do, that's why. 93 teams will go into the hat. Right, let's have a look. Um, might do it this way, no, it's going to take too long I feel. We'll do a couple just in case. Northampton got Havington and Waterloo unfortunately, it'd be nice to get them. Um, but and who else? Any other big teams? Blackburn and Yeovil are playing each other. Uh, we're not coming through. Peterborough got Mansfield, unfortunately. We'll do that. Draw all teams. Who do we get? We've got Solihull Motors or Nuneaton. Do you know what? That is a game we could win. That is a game we. That's really good. Those are games we could win. So we'll see. I'm not sure who we're going to get. Solihull Motors are 20th in the Bandarama National League. So 
like they're a little, they are a little bit above us. Um, Nuneaton are twenty second in the Valorama League North, so they're not as much better than us either. This is these are two games we could win, and we could get to the second round, which would be amazing. Oh my god. Uh, we'll have to find out when they play, though, who we're going to get, obviously, because they're going to have a game. Um, quickly, let's have a look at the competition. We do stay in fourth, but as you can see now, we've got two games in hand over Salisbury and Bishop Stortford. One game in hand over Mayor of Tirith, but they're probably playing today. Um, we've also got them in the Southern League as well, which is going to be interesting. But that is huge. We've obviously Solihull or Nuneaton is going to be a massive, massive game for us. Uh, right, when are we going to come back? We are going to come back. I mean, that's the game, the FA Cup game there. Do we come back for that? Or do I come back for, like, the Certain Eats game? Do you know what? We'll come back for the Certain Eats game. That's a bit of a derby for us. Um, in fact, actually, I think that's probably the closest thing to a derby. If I go back to the league, let me just have a quick little look. Um, Dorchester, no. I'm just seeing which teams are quite close to us. Certain Eats, for you guys who don't know, Certain Eats is about 25-minute drive away from Rushton going towards Cambridge so it's probably the closest thing to a derby for us Banbury's in Northamptonshire but that's the other side of Northampton so that's sort of on the on the border to Oxfordshire I wouldn't say that is um that is really no I would say that is probably our derby game so that's going to be a great one to bring back so we'll come back for the certain it's game Possibly as well, if we have time, we'll bring you the Solihull Motors game as well, or Nuneaton, whichever FA Cup game is. I'll bring you those two games for the next episode. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure, as always, to bring you this. Please drop a like, please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Uh, and say hello on Twitter. I will see you on the next episode. Bye for now.